WCBI First Alert AccuWeather Forecast with meteorologist Jacob Dickey. Things are looking not too bad out there right now. We've got temperatures in Columbus at 64. The light north winds at three miles an hour, helping to show that boundary trying to push on through, but still struggling as we go here through the evening. Temperatures across the area are in the 60s to the south of that boundary. The northern areas are even cooler. It's 52 right now in Corinth, down to 48 in Oxford, just down the road in Calhoun City. It's at 58. Get down here to Starkville, 64, 67 down US 45 from Columbus down towards the cap. Radar is dry right now. Had a few little spot showers pop up there in Pickens County. Those are pushing off to the east. We're dry for a couple of more hours, but we are watching the big batch of showers and storms off to our south and our west. Some of those may make it into some of our area overnight tonight and bring us a chance for a few isolated showers. Overall, though, I think tonight trending drier. Temperatures look to be falling into the 40s for many of us by the morning. I've got 45 here in Columbus, 41 in Amory, 48 in Macon, a little cooler in Tupelo, 39 there, 36 in Corinth, and 35 in Ripley, under a mostly cloudy to partly cloudy sky. On Friday, then, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds through the day. The good news, yes, some sunshine, I think, sneaks on in. Temperatures look to be heading for the upper 50s for many of us, with northwest winds between uh, 0 and 5 miles an hour, we'll say. Here's the temperature highs, 57 in Columbus, 56 in West Point, a bit cooler than today, but a little closer to seasonal. We'll get to 60 in Aliceville and 59 in Macon, Tupelo at 56. Here's some of those showers trying to make it into our area overnight tonight here. It looks like it'll be from uh, Highway 25 south and east that has the best chance to see a few of those spot showers in the air. The heavier rain looks to stay south of 2059. On the day Friday, then, we've got some sunshine mixing on in, but by Saturday night, storms move back on in here, starting to see the future cast pick up a little bit on uh, some heavier activity. Could see some good rain here, one to two inches through Monday across the area. I don't think that's going to affect flooding too much. Uh, maybe some localized spots, but the river levels, I think, are going to be okay from this event here. As we look to Saturday night, then this low pressure winding up in Arkansas, that's a classic sign for maybe some more stronger storms into the weekend. Saturday night through Sunday, we'll say afternoon or so before that cold front is able to clear on through. And there still is a bit of uncertainty with things right now. We still think that there will be some strong storms somewhere across the southeast. Storm Prediction Center has a broad slight risk. That's a level two out of five, including our area. And again, we're watching Saturday night, it'll say about 10 o'clock all the way through Sunday afternoon and evening. The question is going to be, where does this boundary end up here? If that boundary lifts more to the north, that puts us in a bit more of a threat. If it stays to the south, then uh, we'll be a little quieter as far as things go. Big story, though, is cold air is coming by Monday. Temperatures taking a tumble. We're going to be in the 60s on Sunday. By Monday morning, temperatures will be in the 20s, the wind chills in the teens.